Hey guys, what's up? The iPod Kid here, and before I start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to YouTube Media. Um, he has some all-around tech videos that I've actually been falling in love with lately. Uh, one of them is how to erase an email before it's been read after you've sent it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so he's got some pretty cool little hacks and tech tricks over at his channel, so make sure you go check him out. His link is to the right in the more info section. But for this video, I do have four applications for you guys, uh, two of which I'm extremely excited to share with you guys, uh, Vlingo and Tap Defense, and the other two are going to be uh, some pretty popular free applications currently out right now. So let's start this app review off with my number one and my favorite application currently in this one, Vlingo. And what Vlingo will allow you to do is voice communicate with your iPod or iPhone. Um, if you're going to be using this with an iPod, I'm sorry, I have to restart this because I just put my mic in. Um, if you're going to be using an iPod Touch, you're going to need an external microphone such as this one below. Um, or if you have this on an iPad, which does have the included microphone uh, built in, that works just as well. But if you have an iPhone, you're already set. So what you can do is, with the free version of Lingo, you have a few different things that you can actually say to your iPod or iPhone. You can talk for Maps, Social Updates for Twitter and Facebook, or Web Search. Um, and you can customize those to go to Bing. Um, Google, Yahoo, all those different places. Uh, and then if you get the paid version, you can say email, uh, and you can pretty much just type an email right through there. So let's just go through here, and we will do a custom search. What should we search for? Let's get a map. Map of Dallas, Texas. So let's see what happens. It says it's thinking, and now it says tap choice map of Dallas, Texas. So I click it and it will take me into the maps application and there we go now we have the pinpoint map of Dallas Texas and you can do different stuff if you sync your Facebook or your uh, Twitter account then you'll be able to actually do status updates without your hands and I think it's definitely a pretty cool application especially the free version uh, the paid version I don't know if I'd actually cough up a couple bucks just to do emails through but it's definitely a cool hands free application if you have this in your car or something like that uh, that's going to be the free application Vlingo so if you have a microphone for your iPod Touch or if you have an iPad or an iPhone make sure you go check that one out Vlingo my next app I have for you guys is a really old yet a classic application to the iPod and iPhone and this is going to be Tap Defense. It is now a free application which is why I decided to go pick it up because honestly it's another Tap Defense game or it's another uh, tower defense game and to be honest with you guys I'm not that impressed with this one. It's a great application overall definitely but compared to other defense tower defense games that have been released into the App Store uh, this one's not going to be my favorite. So let's go into the main menu and we will go to New Game. So this, I believe, has something like seven maps, uh, six map packs, level packs, and then also game modes. You have a bunch of different game modes, some of which are, I definitely believe, to be fillers. Ones that are cool are like sudden death. You have one life to start out with. But if we go into the classic mode, uh, it's just going to be like a normal cl a classic tower defense. Um, let's just go into play. And here we go. So you build down here in the bottom, and you have a few different things to start out with. Arrows, bombs, and water. Let's just build a bomb tower. Um, the more gold or the more enemies that you kill as you progress on through the entire game, uh, the more stuff you're going to be able to build and the more towers you're going to be able to unlock. Overall, uh, I'm not impressed with it. I kind of think this gameplay is kind of slow. You can speed it up though, however, just like many other tower defense games in the App Store. Um, but ever since the game Bloons Tower Defense has been released into the App Store, uh, that has become a number one hit seller. That one's everyone started to love that one. Uh, and it's also become a lot faster, more enjoyable game, I believe. Um, so I would definitely still recommend to go pick this up solely because it's free. Um, if it ever does go up to being another paid application again and you're not going to be able to get it for uh, free, then I would probably steer clear of it. But since it is the only or one of the only free tower defense games in the App Store, I would highly recommend it if you're looking for one to just play around with. So that's going to be Tap Defense. Uh, one word when you're searching that one. That's Tap Defense, a free. Uh, I'm not sure if it's currently free, but it is right now free in the App Store. My next app for you guys is going to be Clock Deluxe, and I believe this is an alarm clock application. Uh, I believe it's called Alarm Clock Deluxe. And the reason that I love it is because it is one of the only free alarm clock applications in the App Store. Uh, most of these you have to pay for. I don't know why, but they are a lot of them are going to be paid. And this one has a really nice uh, HUD with all the stuff you want to have included. You have the dates, you have the day of the week, and then you also have the time, including seconds. You can go into the information and you can change a lot of different things, such as the color of the clock. You can change, you can actually customize the colors down here. Go into more, you can do some more stuff, like you can upgrade to the sound control. Um, clock style, you can have analog, digital, 24, 12 hour. You have a lot of different stuff that you can actually tweak. 
uh, go back out, and you can also put the alarm clock in. So uh, I believe that you can make the alarm to go to your music in your library, if I want to say that correctly. Sound. Music. Yeah, you can have your music from your library, so that's why I recommend it. If you're looking for any alarm clock, since the iPod and iPhone are not pre-installed with an alarm clock application, uh, I would highly recommend to go pick this one up because you can preset your own music to wake you up, uh, and it's got some pretty nice little readouts, too of uh, stuff that you can do and just leave it on your desktop but overall it's a good application it's one of the only free alarm clock applications that's the only reason I'm reviewing it uh, solely because of that reason so I recommend it if you're looking for one if not stay clear of it alarm clock deluxe alright my fourth and final application for you guys is a new free really popular application in the app store called Marvel Comics and this app allows you to download old classic Marvel comics uh, either for free or for a small price of like a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine in the app store. It has pretty much every single type you could uh, imagine. Let's go into browse. You can go into the series, and here's all the different series of comics that they have available here. They have a ton, uh, dozens upon dozens. If this will start to scroll, there we go, dozens of dozens. Um, you can go to the top 25. You can see different top 25, which are the most popular ones downloaded. You can even go into the free category, which is definitely nice in case you're not looking to spend any money. Uh, I've already downloaded one comic, and you can go into your own comics, previously viewed, or you can see the ones you already have downloaded. Let's go into my previously viewed. And here's one that I have downloaded, uh, the no issue number 546 of The Amazing Spider-Man from 1999. And you read the comic, and it's definitely a really new and innovative way to see comic books. Uh, first, you select, and you go to the next page. Now, what it will do is side-scroll to the different bubbles in the order that you're supposed to read them. So click again. Oh, what am I doing wrong here? There we go, side-scroll to the ones you have to read keep reading and it'll bring you down and then after you've read all the different bubbles on the comic you side scroll again and you see the entire page cool thing about this is now it's just like an image so you can pretty much just scroll anywhere you want you want to check on them making out you can scroll on any part of the comic book you want to uh, pinch out once again if you want to double if you want to click on the screen you can actually set these uh, jump to first page browse settings cancel or if you want to save one of these as a wallpaper you could always just do the home button and sleep wake button to save the picture now you go to the next page and you can keep on scrolling on next page and that's pretty much it you can go into the um, landscape mode if you want to for the larger page comics on the uh, widescreen but that's all that I have for that review that's going to be Marvel Comics temporary or no it is a free application in the App Store uh, very popular one at that so if you're into comic books definitely go pick it up it's probably the best one in the App Store if you're not into comic books Stay clear of it. That's all you're going to be getting there is just straight up comics, nothing else. Uh, no movie trailers or anything like that. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed those four reviews for you guys. I have Blingo, Tap Defense, Clock Deluxe, and Marvel Comics, all free in the App Store. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Have a fantastic day.